you're off to a great start in your MMA career, you're at 7 and 0. Um, where would you say you are in your development? Um, I still say I, I'm 80%. I'm 80%. And it's to the last 20% is going to take longer to get to and, and to achieve, but you're going to see a massive difference when I've actually uh, accomplished that. You, you will actually, I'm telling you, in my fights, you will see. You think I'm doing crazy stuff now? It's that's, it's, I know I'm not. Like I really do know I'm not. It's because I'm not comfortable in all areas. I don't want to do anything crazy and get caught out and lose. There's no point. So when I feel comfortable, like you grab me, I'm still comfortable. You take me to the floor, I'm still comfortable. I'm gonna, uh, you're gonna see some crazy stuff. But, uh, the media and the fans are looking at you as the next uh, the next big thing in MMA. Mm -hmm. uh, and the is already taking you as one. Um, does that put any extra pressure on you? Is this something that you enjoy? No, I, I, I love it. Like I say, I just see everything as a compliment. And I just want to I, I just want to prove them correct. You know what I mean? If people are saying that about me, I want to prove you right. I want to prove you right. I want to prove you right. So I'm just going to, I need to, I'm just in the gym training hard. You know what I mean? I, I can feel it in my body every day, but I'm just like, get up, go back into the gym and just keep improving. Okay. Uh, your upcoming opponent, uh, Melinda, he's also 7 -0. What do you think of him? Um, again, I, I only watch my opponents enough to know how to deal with them. Other than that, my coaches will keep, you know, keep investigating about the, the ref. Um, the fact that he's seven and zero, anybody I respect anybody that has, still has an O in their record. I respect anybody full stop, but you have to really be careful. Um, I know he's going to distance a lot more, um, so you know he's going to he's going to have the fitness and so on and so forth. But I, I want to go in there with my game plan, execute. I'm not even worried about what, what's coming my way. He has to worry about standing in front of me, and then that's it. How does this fight play out in your head? And uh, give us a prediction. Um, I believe. Um, He's going to be very shocked and he's going to mess up, uh, uh, he's going to go for a stupid takedown um, and then just get beaten up. So I'm just going to prevent it and just, just beat him, mess him up. Um, it's going to happen in the first round or it's going to happen in the second round. So he's either going to manage to survive the first round and get knocked out in the second or he's just going to give up and get knocked out in the first. Okay. One last question, um, it's off topic, it's John, regarding John, John Jones. Uh, what's your reaction to him testing positive for tennis? Uh, no, he's a, he's, a, he's a person that um, I look up to because of what he's done. Um, so it's, it's sad to hear, but I understand a lot of people forget that he is young. He was young when he, you know, got that massive success. He was destroying people. He's now around all this kind of celebrity kind of lifestyle. It's very easily to be swayed into. <clears throat> if you don't have the right people around you all the time, it is very easy to, to be swayed into. I'm glad that he's, you know, he's gone into check himself into the, the, the clinic and get himself sorted out, which shows that he's taken the right steps. I just want to clean John Jones back and I, I wish him all the best. The style is very flamboyant, it gets a hell of a lot of attention every time you fight. Mm -hmm. Do you think that like, some kind of, on a, like, a, like a Floyd Mayweather type syndrome where you know, people are starting to watch you because they're hoping to see your flamboyant style fail you, do you get a sense 100%. of that? Yeah, 100%, which is what I find weird because you've got Floyd Mayweather, someone that deserves all of his success and just because he's a little bit different to you know, the normal cut, people criticise him for it. But you know what? He puts in his work, and so do I. And you, uh, those people that deserve to be there, and and it will show. If I if I end up slacking in some area, you will see it in my fights, and I, and I won't continue winning. You're undefeated, of course, seven and zero. How important is it to you to keep that O? Do you think you're going to keep it? You're going to go your whole career without losing? Cause that, you know, that's that's the aura you give off when you fight. Is that what you feel? Um, I, I'm never going to go into a fight thinking I'm going to lose, meaning that zero is going to stay until someone takes it from me. That zero is going to stay there for my whole MMA career. Thanks a lot. Thank you.